right, let's continue on. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Mm -hmm. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Yeah, it looks like they have a lot of misfortune, actually. To do... Oh. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. Family curse. On January Just to have 7, one of these things. 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. Look at it. But 40-foot waves Maybe off it's... the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. I see. Okay. I'm gonna look at this tree one more time. So Edie is Odin's daughter. Okay. Hmm. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. What does that say? Built in 1937? One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. <laughs> Why did they... Because of, oh, a the forest fire. Sven was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. They put it in the paper that a dragon killed him. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. But Molly was her kid. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay Look left at on this the house bathroom. was the pink bathroom. It's that it shag material. <laughs> My great grandma used to have that in her bathroom. <laughs> There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. Oh. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Wow. So many secret passages. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. That must be the camera. They 
have a national park too. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin and that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. I guess we're the brother. Oh. I hurt my leg. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, no. we swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Don't do it. Stop! Coffee! Dinner's ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. The wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. Oh, we're almost That's what there. I want to remember about my brother. story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Hmm. There's only 11. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Oh. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. So he had to live with his brother's things here. Wow. Another secret. Passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. More. Oh, are we back in the other room? Growing up, I always thought no. of Barbara as a child star. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. She was 16 when she died. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Gosh. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. A 
as a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just a boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan uh -oh. and current boyfriend, Rick was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes okay. puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding... Until finally, the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. Okay. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick. But the house was silent. But didn't he go in there? Whoa. She That's creepy. Scratch and imagine the worst. Look at that. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Oh gosh. It's, it's her boyfriend, isn't it? Oh! Rick? Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find He deserves story. that. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and... She threw him out. But she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? What? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter.
is coming from inside the house. of monsters they were and she realized what was about to happen she was <laughs> real uh oh famous. and with her final breath barbara finch gave a formant of her life i wasn't there myself but i hear barbara Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all. Poor Walter. Hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Ooh. I call a real eerie tale. entertaining Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered as absurd as that comic was maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending hmm wait there she is with a crutch that's weird Ugh. sorry Barbara I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. It's this way. So maybe I should go and see if I can get that key. Okay, let's try. we go. Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Most of the house was off limits. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. It's the fridge, the it same fridge. She was hiding a lot more than that. Whoa. What the heck? I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's a pattern in all these stories, Hot piles. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. 
going in a hatch. I know it's out there somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. This is all a mistake. But I need to stop mm -hmm. living the same day. Even if it kills me. Whatever's out there. Okay, he made it I out. I want you to know. I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it. Especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy if we only knew the day. 30 years inside. Oops. Tragic. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Her mom has a lot of secrets. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Is it fake? Mm, yeah. Let's go in. Hmm. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never I told know me her, about her an mom. uncle under the house... Yeah, if she has... A I lot of uh what else she was hiding. Mm -hmm. I don't what is this? I wanted to see she made. It's trash. Trying to bury something that's still alive. Hmm. The trash. 
train track. What's happening? A few moments later. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe we crashed. That's what happened. Had to restart. Maybe two. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. Who else is still alive? What happened to everyone else? But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse. We made it real. Mm. Okay. Yeah. What the heck are those there I for? I don't know if I should even be writing this. Chairs in the trees. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. And the history. Who's she writing to? Of. To be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. I think so too. What is that bell? That history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Any of it seems possible. 